Hey, it's Tony here at Smart Toyota, Madison, Wisconsin. Hey, today's vehicle victim, this brand new 2021 Toyota Camry XSE Hybrid. Let's dive in and check it out. Okay, so up front on the XSE Hybrid, of course, you're gonna get the uh, blue badging. And behind that badge are the sensors for your dynamic radar cruise control. So really nice looking uh, front end on here with a huge bold grill, kind of that honeycomb style grill. Silver painted lower fascia with a gunmetal gray effect on the upper grill here. Now the XSE trim does come with a full LED lighting package and the lighting package is unique for the XSE. So these are all LED lights here. LED daytime running lights, and then your projector style headlights as well. As we swing down the side, we've got these gorgeous gloss black alloy wheels. These are really a great looking low profile tire on those. Those are gonna be a 19 inch cast aluminum wheel, and those are gonna be a 40 series all season radial tire. Really great handling at high speeds. Four wheel disc anti-lock brakes with traction control. Uh, this is going to be the front wheel drive edition. And of course, as a hybrid, you get the hybrid badging, color to match outside mirrors, LED turn signals. These are of course breakaway mirrors with the chrome trim, chrome trim around your uh, window sills as well. And then these mirrors also break away like so. So if somebody clips them with a shopping cart or a bicycle, hopefully not gonna break them off. We do have blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. They're also heated, and of course they're power operated. Color to match door handles with the smart keyless entry. A little bit lower profile with the 40 series tires on the XSE trim. Gloss black B pillar. Color to match shark fin antenna standard. Gas doors right here on the uh, driver's side. As we swing around to the back, you start to notice that rear spoiler up top integrated into the deck itself. And that's colored to match blue Toyota badging, chrome Camry badging, XSE hybrid badging. And then we have our backup camera right up underneath here. On your lower fascia, we do have uh, chrome tip exhaust pipes coming out the back. Now this is a hybrid, so you get the single sided. Uh, that's going to be the four cylinder hybrid engine. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk here. Take a look inside. There's a push button over here on the side. Nice wide opening on the trunk on the Camry with the low lift over height. Plenty of width here if you want to put in a couple sets of golf clubs. This one does have the all weather floor liner package. That's an extra charge. So you get the high quality rubber floor mat in the trunk. And then down underneath here, that's where you're going to find your tool kit, spare tire, that type of thing, all tucked down underneath, out of sight, out of mind. Rear fold down seats actuate right here places to connect cargo nets and your grocery bags. Love the uh, deck lid, it's lined. Also has this emergency release glow in the dark in case somebody gets stuck in the back trunk for whatever reason, that safety's been taken care of. LED third brake light, rear window defrost, standard. Love the rear tail light assembly with those crystal clear white lenses. It's a really nice looking rig from top to bottom. Let's go ahead and swing around to the front. We'll pop the hood and take a look at the engine. Tell you all about that and the great technology behind the hybrid system. Okay, so diving under the hood, this is the hybrid system. So on the right, this is your 16 valve, 2.5 liter, four cylinder gasoline engine. And then on the right, these are all the components for the hybrid system in terms of the electric motors and such. So interesting, the hybrid system has an eight year, 100,000 mile warranty on the mechanicals. And then it also has a 10 year, 150,000 mile warranty on the battery. And then your engine and your transmission, which is a CVT automatic transmission, they have a separate warranty and that's gonna be five years, 60,000 miles. And there's no deductible on any of the warranties with Toyota. 
Now, of course, you also get Toyota Care with this vehicle, so you get your fluid top-offs, you're gonna get your oil changes, and Toyota's also going to take care of your tire rotations for the first two years or 25,000 miles. And that will save you a ton of dough over the course of those two years. Now this setup with the engine and the hybrid and all of that, uh, that allows the Camry to achieve uh, 46 miles per gallon combined city and highway, which think about that, that's a great fuel economy on really a five passenger sedan. So definitely one of the best hybrid systems on the market. In fact, Toyota is now sharing some of their knowledge and technology with the competition. Let's go ahead and jump inside and uh, take a look at what we can find. Before we uh, sit down though, let's take a look at the door itself. I uh, love the brushed aluminum door handles here. We've got auto up and down on all four windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Of course, you do get the smart keyless entry system. And then there's uh, bottle holders and map pockets down on the doors as well. I don't even know what a map looks like anymore. It's been such a while since I've seen one. Now this is gonna be the black interior and we've got a full power driver's seat with power lumbar support. Again, this one does have the all weather floor mat, so Camry floor mats, really nice high quality floor mat. Take a look at our seats. So they're a perforated bucket seat with the suede racing stripe right down the center. Height adjustable headrest and seat belts. Of course, we do have side impact airbags. This one is a fairly base XSE, so no sunroof. For those of you who don't want a sunroof, this is gonna be the car for you. Now over here across the dash, there's four vents with on and off switch. They've got kind of a gloss black trim with gunmetal gray bezels. Automatic headlights. There's your traction control on and off. Trunk release, gas door release, and the heated steering wheel. So yes, the steering wheel is heated on the XSE trim. Down here we've got odometer and we've got our dimmer switch for our dash lights as well. Let's go ahead and uh, jump inside and check it out. Okay, behind the wheel on the XSE, this is Toyota's three-spoke steering wheel, leather-wrapped, heated, as I said before, driver's airbag, controls on the left-hand side, fingertip for your sound system, Bluetooth connectivity for your sound system or for your smartphone, and then these are the controls right here for your 7-inch information display. I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, we also, XSE does have paddle shifters, and your headlight controls are here. We have automatic high beams and automatic on and off. So auto on and off here, auto high beams over here, and there's a nice little storage cubby down there as well. Take a look at our right-hand side. This is where we find our washer and our wiper controls for our intermittent wipers right here. And then down on this side of the steering wheel is where we find the cruise controls and uh, so fingertip cruise controls, dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure settings, and you can change your radio stations right there as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the gauge cluster. As I mentioned, we do have smart keyless entry systems, so that gives us a push button foot on the brake. That's the way it kind of wakes up, and then here's your center stack waking up as well. Go ahead and turn on that AC a little bit. It's warm in here. Okay, so back to the center or back to the gauge cluster. On the left hand side, this is your monitoring system for your uh, hybrid system. Engine temperature gauge, then your information center, and then over here is the speedometer and the fuel gauge. Now I wanted to show you the information center in a little bit in the center, just a little bit. So controls are right here to be able to toggle through the different features. And you can see we have blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert. We've got the EV mode, lane departure. There's a clock there, digital speedometer. This is our EV monitoring going on right now. So using these controls right here, I can go ahead and toggle through some of the other controls. So there's our pre-collision setup, our tire pressure monitoring system. So a lot of great information available right there. You can personalize it if you want to. You've got the outside temperature here as well. So there's a boatload of stuff you can do. 
with your fingertips right on the steering wheel for the information center. Let's move over and take a look at our center stack. So up top we've got a 9 inch touchscreen. We'll go to the home here and here's our menu. All of our audio, phone and app suite. Here's our audio settings. We do have Sears satellite radio, Apple CarPlay, Alexa, Android Auto, all of that. And navigation is an option. This one doesn't have that, so you can add an app on your smartphone if you want to do that. This is all glass bla gloss black trim. Pretty easy to find what you want there. Vents, hazard light, or flashers are there. Front window defrost, automatic temperature control, front driver, front passenger, you can sync that up. This is your um, electronic uh, rear window defrost and your outside mirrors. These are heated as well. So you just push that button right there and away you go. And then this allows you to turn off the heating and air conditioning for the passenger side. If nobody's over here, turn that off, you get a little better fuel economy. I did want to point out the ambient blue lighting up here under the dashboard and then this faux um, trim here. It's a plastic, but it looks like metallic. It looks nice. We've got a padded dashboard with a contrast stitching. Here's your glove box, owner's manuals. It is a uh, locking glove box there. There's a quick look at your dashboard. So up top, passenger assist grips, vanity mirrors, sliding uh, secondary visors, LED overhead lighting, so you can set up for your reading lights and what have you. We also have Safety Connect right there. If you need help out on the road, push that and Toyota will get you somebody to come out and take care of you. There's a place up here for your sunglasses. We've got a garage door opener built into the mirror. It's an automatic dimming mirror, so that's all up there. Head on back over and take a look at our center console. So as we move down through here, we've got some charging opportunities, power ports. Also, let me just back this up a little bit. We've got wireless charging for your smartphone, so you can just drop it on there. There's a hidden storage compartment down here. This is, as I said before, a CVT automatic transmission. It is a leather wrap shifter, and then I'll put it in reverse so you can see the backup camera right there with the uh, dynamic grid lines. We do have two more cup holders. We've got our heated seats right here. They're not ventilated. They are perforated, but they're not cooled or ventilated seats. Over here, we've got our controls for our eco, normal, and sport, uh, brake hold, EV mode, and our, our parking brake. Um, the Eco Normal and Sport, that controls how the uh, CVT responds. So in Eco Mode, you're going to get your best gas mileage. That's the whole idea behind it. And then up here on the gauge cluster, see that green line there? That indicates Eco, uh, eco no Mode. And then blue is Normal. And then red is going to be Sport. There's also an indicator up here as well. So you don't have to take your eyes off the road to see what shift mode you're in. But you'll definitely feel a difference between that sport and that eco mode. Huge difference in the way it, it performs. So here's a look at our armrest. It's a big wide armrest. Um, it does have the contrast stitching on the top and then it also flips open like so. And then under here we've got USB charging ports, a nice storage compartment. That's not a locking armrest though so it's not going to be secure good place to stow your stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in the back seat and see what we can find. Here's a quick look at the uh, driver's compartment from the back seat. And then here in the back seat down, down below here there is vents but there's no USB charging ports. The weirdest thing that Toyota hasn't added charging ports in the back seat. There are pockets on the backs of both of these seats. And I want to let you know I've got this seat all the way back, so that kind of gives you an idea on how much legroom I have in the back seat. This uh, I've got the rear seat folded down just to show you that you can access the trunk from up front. 
but if you want bring this up and you've got plenty of room for three passengers back here there's three seat belts and then you've got a folding armrest that comes down with the cup holders in the center there's some reading lights up on the top here and there's passenger assist grip and dry cleaning hooks as well so fairly basic in the back seat I, I'd like to see Toyota add some charging ports back here without you know charging separate for them but uh, the Camry's definitely plenty of room for five passengers. Let's 